Hello, MTV. Welcome to my baby's crib. That's funny, wasn't it? Not at all. <laughs> Let's carry on. <laughs> okay. Hello, and welcome back to my canal. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a little tour of the nursery because it feels like it's finally finished. Um, I'm realizing right now how out of breath I'm going to be because being pregnant <laughs> makes me out of breath very easily. Yeah, I wanted to go through the nursery for friends and family and other first-time moms or moms who it's like been a while since they've had a baby. So you could see kind of, I don't know what the deal is, what's hot, what's not, what we're buying. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. I'm going to show you guys how we decorated, some of the fun little gadgets we've got, and hopefully he's here pretty soon after I am. 37 weeks and like four days recording this so <laughs> he's in there he's cooked and we are ready for him to come out Sir, we're trying to shoot a video here. Says, hang on, hang on. Let me tell the people where everything is. Hi. Don't worry. It's fine. Okay. So, so as far as like a theme goes, we obviously went really neutral. Everything is white or very light, which I'm sure a lot of uh, experienced moms are laughing at because that probably sounds like the worst color to have in your nursery, but it's fine. We do it for the aesthetic at least one time. So we went really neutral. Um, I like that because I feel like the baby can just kind of grow with the room and the decor longer rather than making it like super juvenile. Um, and I'm not big into super <laughs> gender. I'm not big into super gendered rooms anyway, like ultra pink rooms for girls or like trucks for boys. It's just not really our thing. And then this way, if our baby accidentally comes out a girl after we've been told it's a boy, this all still works. So it's like a safari themed kind of. So over here we've got these cute little pictures of animals. And then we did these triangle shelves with the little animal figurines. All of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby honestly has a great selection when it comes to um, like baby decor, nursery decor. So over here, these are from there as well. And then we got this little sign um, on clearance there a couple months later. I'm already out of breath. We put a couple pictures over here as well, um, along with this really cute, like, rustic wooden mirror above his changing station. I think the only thing on the walls that's not from Hobby Lobby, right, this is all Hobby Lobby, except for the shelf, this was a TJ Maxx find. Okay, so moving on to furniture. All of our furniture is, well, the changing station and his crib are both from Target. And they were actually pretty affordable, um, just from what I looked at other furniture. So we decided to do this instead of a dresser. I've never been a big fan of dressers. Um, I kind of like the open storage just because like, then this allows us to do diapers and burp rags and all that stuff down here. And then there's a little changing station up here. Um, and his crib, like I said, is also from Target. I want to say this was under $200, like right under $200 or maybe right at that point. And then it does have like the three height settings on it as well. And I'll link all of the furniture below in case you're interested in that. <laughs> okay this is definitely one of my favorite pieces in the nursery because I feel like it is just so smart so when looking for a rocking chair or a glider um, there are a lot of options now this is from Wayfair 
and I believe it was four or five hundred dollars. So I will admit that it is pretty steep. Um, and I don't know that, you know, like everybody's not going to spend that, but I did think it was really cool because it has this little bassinet basically that's attached to the rocking chair. So you can come in here, kind of rock your babe to sleep and then <laughs> watch <laughs> and then more gently like pass him off put your hand on him while you're still rocking I just think overall it's a smoother transition than trying to now stand up and like put him in the crib and risk him waking up um, so we'll see how it goes but I did think that was really cool and then actually inside of it we have the baby lounger right now we just have this tucked in here but this is um, like it can go anywhere it can go in your living room or when you're traveling with the babe just somewhere like comfy for your baby to sleep okay so when you first walk in the room I was gonna say you're greeted by <laughs> The first thing that you'll see is this bookshelf. Um, I did get this bookcase at TJ Maxx. It was actually only like $30, I think. So it was a really good deal. So in here, we've got his book collection started. I'm very proud of this because there are so many like woke baby books now. And I just love that. So he has a ton of books that I think are really intentional in their writing rather than just being like about I don't know ABCs or one two three I mean we've got that stuff too we're gonna teach him that right but uh he's got a whole like collection over here about like representation and kind of like some social issues it sounds so serious but hey I think it's important like even at a young age so we've got um anti-racist baby that's a must <laughs> Let's see, it says, what did it say? Like, anti-racist, uh, yeah. Anti-racist baby is bred, not born. <laughs> anti-racist baby is raised to make tran er, society transform. I love that. Our baby's going to be hilarious. Um, we've got Little Legends, Exceptional Men in Black History, Bold Women in Black History. Uh... Up here we have Eyes That Kiss in the Corners, which is about like loving your Asian features. So we've got a whole thing here, Little Feminist, 25 Amazing Feminists. Um, I just think it's really important. Growing up, I didn't always have representation in the things that I consumed, like book-wise or movies or anything. And we really want to make sure that he sees himself even at the youngest age. So yeah, I encourage that. <laughs> So right under his bookshelf, we have his little um, swing, and it probably won't stay in here. I envision it being in the living room most of the time, actually, but this is really cool. It was about $200. Again, I'll link some of these major things below, and if I didn't link it and there was something that you want to link for, just comment, and I'll try to find it for you. Um, but this is really cool because it glides super smooth and you can adjust the settings on it to like determine how wide it goes it also has remote capability so you can be like sitting on the couch and if it stops swinging you can start it back up again it does have a speaker in it with some white noise sounds and then it also has bluetooth capability so you can play your own music if you know maybe your baby gets down to roddy rich or something and doesn't like abc's <laughs> and then over here we've got his little uh what do they call this they call it like a jungle gym now these are really popular right now they're super like simplistic modern wooden gyms we got ours on amazon and it's fairly easy to put together and then it just closes right up like this so if your baby really likes it it would be super easy to take with you and then below that we have his little name puzzle and that was customized um they make them on etsy but we ordered direct from a website so we just thought that was really cute and we ordered it in the same colors as his gym our tiger rug here which i think is super cute and funny and then we have these really like nice sunken in windows in our apartment so we decided to just make use of this space this little basket here has a bunch of his blankets and his uh, swaddles 
And then this basket over here has all of the stuffed animals that our friends and family have gotten for him so far. That's my co-host, <laughs> the nap champ. Um, and then yeah, real quick, over here next to our chair, we do have this little side table and that's what we put the smaller books in, like kind of more of the classic uh, children's books like Good Night Moon, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Uh, and then on top of it, <clears throat> we have this nice lamp from Target, which is really cheap. Uh, we did get Edison bulbs in here so it wouldn't be so bright. So like at night, it's really nice because it's just like a soft warm light that wouldn't be like alarming or very harsh for a baby. It's just like a soothing, calming environment in here. And then we also have our hatch, which when I posted on Instagram that we had gotten this, so many moms replied and they were like, the hatch is the best thing ever. Like even moms with like a two-year-old, they still use it. I mean, it's a really basic device. You just pick it up or tap it and the lights will come on and it has all different white noise sounds um, from like ocean waves to birds to laundry. Um, and yeah, different light effects and everything, but I guess... It's a lifesaver, so we decided on that instead of a husher. Last area of his room, this little corner, we've got his laundry basket. We figured it was smart that he had his own laundry basket, especially because in the earlier months, you're washing his stuff separately. It uses a different detergent, so rather than trying to sort it out later, it's just easier to throw it all in its own basket. That was from TJ Maxx. Um, and then we got this rolling cart, which has become like a mom hack in the past few years, I've noticed everyone says to get this cart. You can find these at Walmart or Target online. Um, and this also probably will not stay in here. This is something that while the baby sleeps in our room in his bassinet, we'll probably have by the bed. And then throughout the day, like when we're out in the living room, we'll have it out there because what you do is put like all of your essentials in it. So your breast pump, your diapers, your wipes, instead of like having a bag that you have to dig through or just having stuff all over the place, you can kind of keep it all on this little rolling rack and then just scooter around as you need it. And they're really cheap, so yeah, smart. And then on top of it, we have, um, this is like a diaper organizer in itself. So if we wanted just what was up here, we could also just grab this out as well. Over here on our changing table, like I said, I really liked the open concept. Um, so we've got a basket of diapers. Right now, um, there's like more diapers down there. The breast pump, which I did get, the Spectra S1, which is the one that um, can go like portable. You don't have to be plugged in. So I thought that was really nice. And then over here, we've got another little basket full of like burp cloths and bibs. Here are my Moby wraps to hold him in, um, and then yeah, some more burp cloths, all his bath stuff, and his laundry detergent down there. And then right here um, next to the changing table, we got a wipe warmer. I've seen like 50-50 responses on whether this is useful or not, <laughs> whether you actually end up using it, because obviously if you're changing your baby in the middle of the night, like... You're definitely changing it in that bassinet in the bed like you're not coming in to the nursery so he can have a warm wipe on his butt but it's my baby and he deserves to be spoiled so we're gonna try it out then we have the closet and all his teeny tiny little clothes hung up <laughs> so we got all of the little baby hangers from target like I said, I'm not really a fan of dressers, even for my own stuff. I like to see everything hung. It just, it feels easier to me. Um, so we just like slowly started buying packs of hangers as more and more clothes accumulated. The last like nesting thing we really have to do is sort his clothes by size order because they're just in here randomly as we have been washing them. But yeah, all his stuff hung up. I can pull out a couple of things and show you like some of my favorites. Look at the little baby car hearts. This is so cute. He's gonna go to work with his great grandpa. <laughs> and what else do we have? He has honestly such a great wardrobe. And you know what? Everyone's like, don't go crazy with the baby clothes. 
because obviously that's the first thing that you want to do as a mom like that's so fun to buy they're tiny and they're cute and they're cheap don't listen to those people just buy whatever you want to buy of course they're going to outgrow them and yes you're going to have to get rid of them and whatever but i say have fun and there's so many things that people say that are negative just like enjoy the little things as many of them as you can look at that that's <laughs> cute all right so that is everything i think we covered it all that is baby malachi's room um we are so so excited for him to be here it's kind of crazy to think that it's like less than a month away. I have a feeling that he's coming sooner rather than later. My husband does not agree with that, but <laughs> he's also not the one who's pregnant. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this. Again, if you have any questions about anything um, that we got, why we bought one over the other, or um, if you want a link for anything, then go ahead and just leave me a comment below and I will try to find that for you. And yeah. That's it. We're going to start filming some more videos, um, especially once the baby comes and kind of documenting the journey a little bit. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you Wait. guys. Wait, you forgot something. I'm really out of breath. Take this. <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. Okay. I forgot my favorite part. That Which hold it one? suck. Oh. Yeah. I did Let not me show talk you how it's done. Camera. So we have a nice camera installed. Mm -hmm. Let me use my demonstration baby here. Sure. You're gonna put the sock on him? Okay. okay. We're not supposed to be teaching him to get in the crib, but there he is. Yep, so we have the outlet sock and monitor. One last really cool thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this blackout curtain that we got on Amazon. Our apartment gets a ton of natural light, which is really great. Like, I mean, this the lamp is on, but Honestly, this whole room is lit up all day long. Um, and I love natural light, so that is really nice. But as far as the baby sleeping, if you really want to block out the light and not risk him waking up during a nap, we decided to get this blackout curtain. We have these in our room as well. Okay. Uh, it's not as aesthetically pleasing me pulling it down in this window because there's so much in the window. But you get the idea. It pulls down and... Yeah, see, now look how, like, cozy the room is, and it's all, like, happy. Don't you just want to take a nap in here? <laughs> I do. <laughs> do, do, do. All right, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs>